thank you very much. Uh, okay, well, my name is Jonathan Kuttner and um, I'm a musculoskeletal and pain physician and I work in, in Papakura. And we're going to be talking about strategies for managing your own pain. Uh, who here lives with pain? It's about, yeah, it's about third, third of the people. Okay. Okay. What say um, I'm changing in front of you and I am getting, getting, I've got a little blue tutu and I've got some wings on the back and I've got a little wand. I'm your fairy godfather and I come and I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. And my offer is that with my little magic wand, I'll come over and I'll touch you and I'll say, I will take away your pain forever. You will never feel pain, ever, for the rest of your life. Who, who, would, like to, who would like me to come along and, ah, I've got only one, two, two, two takers. Any more? Any more takers? Three takers? Four takers? Very good. Five. 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 <laughs> okay. Now, I must warn you that there's a little warning at the bottom. It's in very small print, and it's, a, it's an ancient Chinese curse, and it says, May you get what you most desire. It's an ancient Chinese curse. So, um, do any of those who wanted my, my little gift, do they want to reconsider? Anyone? Would anyone want to take it up, take my offer up? Oh, everyone's got a bit cold feet. <laughs> Liz, oh, okay. Well, actually they're wise because there is something. If I took away your pain forever, so you never felt pain ever again in your life, what would happen? What does pain actually, does pain do anything? Indicate something wrong. Absolutely. So pain actually keeps you safe. This is the truth. And if I was to take away pain completely, well, there are people who actually are born with congenital absence of pain. They've got something wrong with their, their system. They don't feel pain at all. So they only know when they are, they've got their hand on the hot stove when they smell something burning, or that they've caught themselves when they see the blood or the smell of the infection. So they cannot feel pain. And they're very lucky to make it into their 30s or 40s. So it's a terrible condition. So not to have pain is worse than to have pain. 